Are you speaking from personal experience? You're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. You've earned quite a reputation on Tython, personally ending a threat to the Jedi Temple. Inspiring. I'm sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. Where are my manners? Forgive me. Anatol Rospar, Coruscant Special Affairs Liaison. I represent Venara Kale, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. The war's been over a long time. It's hard to believe we're still recovering. Some wounds run deeper than others. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Senator Kale believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. How long have you loitered around the spaceport waiting for my shuttle? My time is the Senator's time. And I never wait for long. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck. And welcome to Coruscant. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. Is the Republic doing anything to provide for these refugees? Resources are scarce. There's only so much we can do. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. Oh, as if these people didn't have enough problems, now they're being controlled by gangsters. These criminals exploit the very people their guild allegedly protects. They rule through intimidation and extortion. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. With all due respect, Senator, are you sure this requires Jedi intervention? Your order has been away from Coruscant too long. It's time the Jedi took a direct hand in protecting the Republic capital. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. I'll focus on saving the people caught in the crossfire. Punishing criminals isn't a Jedi's duty. I suspect they'll punish themselves by attacking you. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. 
Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix in Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy containment without casualties. Have you tested this planet prison safety? We were about to begin field testing when this pointless debate started. Regardless, you've allowed the planet prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Master Kiwix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here, finding those design files. I won't let you down. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rhodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? It's time I had a talk with this guild. No one talks to those cutthroats. The guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. When you find Vistus, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. <laughs> Have a safe and pleasant stay. I carry a stun baton for protection. Now are we leaving or not? As soon as you sign this waiver, sir. Honorable Jedi, a moment, please. I greet you on behalf of the great and noble Senator Dolly Burbark. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. The Senator sounds like a wonderful man. Oh, he's the most wonderful man I've ever met. Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority.
Can you explain that? Absolutely. Senator Bark believes technology is the key to strengthening our military and re-establishing our healthy economy. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. You're looking for outside help. Exactly. The Senator says this issue is really over security's head anyways. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. A Jedi Knight must always serve the Republic. The Senator will be ecstatic to learn that a Jedi is assisting. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. In accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Bark's page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. Where can I find the shipment? Look, I don't work for him. If you want that information, we're gonna have to come to an understanding. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? Now that you mention it, he didn't explain anything about the chips. I'm not surprised. These political types like to gloss over details. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for senators. Mark must be aware of the laws. Sure. He just doesn't think they apply to him. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. That sounds like the right thing to do. It's the only thing to do. Find the chips and get out of the Guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. Power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn, Senator Kale said you need backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. We'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. The Senate Tower is nowhere near this sector. Scum found themselves a way around that little detail. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. No telling how many will die. These criminals have gone too far. I'm taking them down. Best news I've heard all day, Master Jedi. Gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. Get enough terminals, we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there.
Wangka Cisa Bica Wangki Ciatoca. Hagwa Bontago, Chubalong Haku. Kilia Umpasa Dobiska, Wumpa Hupa. Agent Galen, I believe I found our thief. Get the stolen design files and hurry back. We've had a major security breach. What's happened now, Agent? This holo channel isn't secure. I'll brief you at the Senate Tower. Galen out. Iska Chanaga Ima Che Choran Chike Wachineko Higa Danoila Oka Kiza Speed Up Per Popa Cleugo Chesco Pacuta Gliska Taka Yakoska Tell me about your employers and you can leave. Tandi Kwahai Kuma Wachineko, Higa Danoila, Oka Kiza Speed Up Per Popa. Oh, Wama Wanka Mituske, Owana Tablota, Wijawa. What is Black Sun's interest in military data files? Agua Dopi Bazda Wahota. Iliska Chanaga Ima Che, Choran Chike. So long as everything you've told me is true, we have no further quarrel. Ashuna Zayala. Ukleugo Chesko Pakurta. Kliska Taka Yakoska.
My man can't believe you took on all those gangsters and lived. You're a blasted hero, you know that? With the network terminals locked down, the speeder traffic is secure. Now, all that's left is pushing out those gangsters for good. There was some kind of encrypted message on the network. Looks like a recording. Let me see that. Hmm. It's an old migrant merchant's guild code. I think I can decrypt it. Here we go. You accepted our friendships under the pale and credits. It's time you paid us back. All we want are the housing projects you promised our people now. Your people will have to wait their turn like everyone else. I owe you nothing. If you continue pushing me, I'll destroy you all. Senator Kale and the Migrant Merchants Guild are at war? That's what this was all about? Your extortion attempt has failed. My people are pushing back your little army as we speak. It's over. Nobody breaks a deal with us, Senator. We'll have what we want one way or another. This is way above my pay grade. I'm not destroying the reputation of Coruscant's most popular politician. Take the recording. I don't want it. When you wear that uniform, you're upholding the Republic's ideals. Freedom, integrity, and honesty. There's nobody more qualified to handle this than you, Jedi. I know you'll find the truth. Senator Kale has done great things for Coruscant. She's a good woman. Give her a chance. My men and I will stay down here. You should go back to the Senate Tower. Look what the Wapa dragged in. I was beginning to wonder if I'd see you again. Did you get the shipment of slave collar chips? Take these chips and destroy them, Captain. Oh, I will. Senator Park will be disappointed, but the law is the law, even for Senators. I know he probably offered more, but I can at least give you the standard rate for your work. I'm just glad we found them before Senator Bark did. I'm with you on that. To be honest, I can't think of a more detestable technology. I've got a lot of data work to do now. We don't want the Senator finding any fault with the way this was handled. But you've got my thanks. That will be all, Minister. Dismissed. Captain Winborn contacted me. You thwarted an attack that would have killed thousands. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, you also have a hollow recording I would like destroyed. Its contents will only cause harm. Did your security chief spoil the big surprise? The Migrant Merchants Guild warned me. They're courting my favor as if bargaining were still an option. It never was. My opponent in the elections was a vile man. Lazy, stupid, and corrupt. He wasn't interested in building, only taking. I had to win. But I didn't possess as much wealth as he did. When those gangsters approached me, I accepted their donation. And I'd do it again. Do you hear yourself? After everything that's happened, you still won't admit to being wrong. I'm not wrong. If you'd witnessed the suffering on this world, the poverty and despair, you'd know that. I stole from those criminals to rebuild Coruscant for its people. Set things right. I'll bring the Migrant Merchants Guild to justice. You hold the power to ensure my success. Let me finish healing this world. Please, destroy that recording. If you really love the people of Coruscant, you'll admit what you've done. Let them decide whether or not to forgive you. You think I'm dishonest? I'm just a realist. But there's no point arguing it with you. I won't force you to go public. I'll call an emergency meeting in the Senate. Tell them the truth. Let them decide. Coruscant will be rebuilt, with or without you. I promise to help finish what you've started. Perhaps you should run for office. 
I'll see to it you're properly recognized for your heroism in the old galactic market. Farewell. Senator, please comprehend. Repairing Coruscant's infrastructure is green obtuse. To form the Red Parallel, we require a Black Bisector. Oh, this is pointless. I can't understand a word you're saying. I use mistaken words and request patience. This will be clearer. The lower levels are alarming and filled with casualties. Active collaborators can solve problems. Oh, I give up. Do you have any idea what this Ambassador droid is trying to say? Aren't ambassadors usually organic? This is an unusual situation. I'm Senator Oranda. This is Patike from the Gree Enclave. Before you ask, the Gree are remote people, isolationist. They help build Coruscant's original infrastructure. We asked for assistance with repairs, they sent the droids. What sort of infrastructure needs repairing? Power, water, and waste reprocessing things the world needs to survive. The war left a lot of Coruscant in bad shape. The Enclave bargains resources and offers reversal of Coruscant's yellow concave. We commit to white vertex to achieve this. Gree droids seem to speak in Gree patterns, so this gibberish is what I've got to rebuild Coruscant with. I speak attentively in hopes of comprehension. The bargain encounters great challenges. My delegates suffer assault affecting the maintenance. Fire, damage, and fear. Do you follow? There's something threatening stopping you from doing your job? That is an approximate understanding, yes. Your comprehension is high. Coruscant needs these repairs to continue functioning. Patike, you have to convince your delegates to brave these dangers. Impossible. My delegates require aid from one accustomed to fire, damage, and chaos. A black bisector, you see? Allow me to do this. I will compensate the black bisector with useful and valued items only available from the Enclave. My delegates will describe their black spheres for you. These are bold, courageous mission callings. Speak to them and learn. <laughs> Never going back. Never going back to Blue Nonagon. Now I am Yellow Concave. Injuries mark my chassis forever, and why? Ungrateful humans. How were you damaged? Fire, smoke, blades. The occupants of Level Below committed numerous assaults. My safe return was improbable, never going back. Coruscant's life waters are sluggish, stagnant. Padake commanded me. Go to the Level Below, repair the broken hydro supply, make clean life waters flow. I crafted a solution to achieve Padake's command. All was orange sphere until I arrived at the level below, then green perpendicular. Tell me exactly what happened to you. Your language is insufficient to describe my suffering. Misery, wrongness, unprecedented perpendicularity, all too much. Hadake failed to impart the lethal conflict enemies waiting on the level below. Many weapons and offenders despising my arrival. I fled Black Sun with my crafted solution intact, but the repair progresses unresolved. Coruscant's life waters remain sluggish, stagnant, without repairs. The Hydro Supply must have my crafted solution. Can I take your crafted solution to the Hydro Supply? You offer yourself as a Black Bisector. That is a gratifying, unpredicted announcement. I pledge to provide items of Gree Ingenuity in return. Take and apply my crafted solution to the Hydro Supply, but do not apply before deactivating nearby flow valves, or pressure explosion death will result. Be alerted. Black Sun Green Perpendicular will provide onslaught. May you experience blue tangent and return intact. That 
was a fairly unsubtle attempt to get my attention. The stand against the Empire, the Republic's leaders must be strong. I got your files, but the thief transmitted a decrypted copy to Black Sun. Grant, run a full diagnostic. Find out what was in these files. Found our stolen military hardware. Good. We need it. While you were gone, kidnappers grabbed Dr. Tarnas. This is the most secure building on Coruscant. It's full of guards. Guards never stood a chance. Whoever the kidnappers are, they knew right where to hit us. Kira led a security team in pursuit, but the kidnappers split up during the chase. Hang on. Signal coming in. Agent hey, Galen, I've got these creeps pinned down, but they won't surrender. I don't know how long I can hold them. She's in over her head. She needs backup. Tell me where to find her. Kira's signal came from the spaceport. The kidnappers may try taking the doctor off-world. You need to stop the kidnappers before they escape with Dr. Tarnas. Hurry! Vehicle pads are currently open for business. 